So all sales experts say that you should add value for your customers. But it is always confusing for me that how should I add this value? In this video, probably I have the answer for you. So this incident happened recently. One of our customers, at that time he was not our customer, but he contacted us through our partner, that is Transor Germany. So we are Transor India, so we make filtration systems under the name of Transor in India. And we are tied up with a German company called Transor. So this customer of ours, he had received a Transor filter from the machine manufacturer and uh, we were not aware of it because it was a long time back but the, the system had some issues now he has been using it for almost seven years now without any breakdown and this was the first incidence that he was facing any issue so he contacted back to Germany and they forwarded it, it to us and it happened so that this company was right next door within the half a kilometer radius so I went there and I understood what their situation was so basically the filter elements were like I said seven years old and they had been continuously using it and they thought that they need to change it so I said okay let me just let me first check what what is wrong with the system the visual inspections that I did told me that uh, the oil was still clean uh, but the pressures, which is one of the main indicators of for any filtration system, the pressures were quite high. So I, I told them that, I mean, you can still use these elements for some more time, but certainly they are at the end of their life. So he asked me that, when do they know that when to change the filters? So I, I told him that it is, it is really observing your oil quality because that is the outcome. That is the reason why you have a filtration system. So if the oil quality is black, I mean blackish. So now the thing with transor systems are that even the dirty oil is quite clean. So, I mean, the clean oil that comes out from the system is absolutely crystal clean, right? How it would appear, or right? How it would be when it, it is poured right out of the barrels. So that is what I told him that the color of the oil or whether there is any dirt in the oil that should govern whether you should you need to change the filter elements or not so in that he told he shared no no it's quite a long time we have not changed the oil also so we are planning to change the oil along with the filter elements and we'll do the overall servicing or overhauling as well so i told him wait so probably this was the or not probably this is the value addition that i did so uh, not only i told him that it is not yet the time for changing his filter elements. I would have easily told him that, no, no, you should change the elements immediately. I would have got the sale. But I thought that it's not very ethical on my part to not share or give the correct information or give the correct direction. Because the thing is, when I meet these customers, I understand that they are looking at me like, a, like an expert. They, they expect some insider information or things like my expert opinions so it's an added responsibility on my part and i think every it's an added responsibility for every sales engineer to actually guide and have a conversation with the customer understand his problems try to educate him and try to re make him realize that this might not be his problem at all there might be a case that whatever you are selling he might not need it I have been very forthcoming in this and uh, I think it's my nature. That's why I ca can't lie or I can't cheat people. So I can't just go and tell people that no, whatever it is, you have to, you have to change and this will be the cost and give me the purchase order or things like that. So I, I've lost a lot of sale, a lot of, lot of uh, opportunity, sales opportunity because of this as well. So uh, I think it is worth it rather than losing your reputation. It is, it is, I think better to lose one single opportunity for selling something so coming back to the story so when he, he shared that he wanted to change his oil as well so that's what i told him that wait you're using a transor system so mainly people don't change oil with transor systems yes the 
topping up of the oil is required. But changing or discarding the oil altogether is not what transfer systems are known for. But he was of the opinion that no, he has been using the oil for a long time. So I told him that you take a sample of oil, let's say a liter of oil out of your dirty compartment and send it to your oil supplier, whoever that might be. He will be a better judge. I mean, he will be able to test it better and give you a better judgment as to whether the oil needs to be changed or not. So I think the customer appreciated this suggestion very highly because I could see it on his face that he was prepared to spend close to around 20 lakh rupees for about 3000 liters of oil. This oil was, it's not Indian made. It was supposed to be imported. So, I mean, here I was probably saving around 20 lakh rupees for, for him, which is quite a huge amount. So he said that, okay, we'll, we'll send this oil to the, to the lab. But we'll have to wait for the time that they, they share the lab result. I said, okay, don't worry. We are here. So he sent this oil to the oil manufacturer. And they took about, they took their own sweet time. Three weeks they took. After three weeks, they came back and told him that the oil is in perfect condition. They don't need to change the oil at all. So yeah, I had to wait for three weeks to get my purchase order. But now the difference was the customer shared that purchase order with me very, very happily without any negotiation. Whatever I had offered, he, I mean, because he said that you have saved almost 20 lakh rupees for me. He understood that I'm not, I was not there or I, I, I did, I was meeting him for the first time. So I was not there to earn a quick buck. I was there to have a long-term relationship with him. And I think he understood that. So I think incidences like these, they are the most satisfying when you do business. When you see the satisfaction on people's faces when you have given the correct solution to them, that is absolutely priceless. So if you have any similar stories or any incidences in your sales journeys, so please do mention in the comment below. And if you like this video, Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.